The beats of Brazil, a sure sound that an Olympic-sized party is underway in Rio de Janeiro. The opening ceremony is on Friday, but women's football got underway on Wednesday, a first chance for fans to experience the 2016 games. With all the problems leading up to these games, the Zika virus, infrastructure issues, violence, and a host city that is nearly bankrupt, it was finally time to try to set aside the problems to finally celebrate, like these friends from Holland. I love this country, I love the people, I love the food, the scenery, the, love, uh, the night li uh, life, <laughs> everything is good. And many Brazilians remain hopeful that everything will turn out just fine. I think it's a feeling of celebration. It will be very exciting. But it's not only the sports and the fans that have arrived in Rio. Something else made its debut in this city as well. After a several month long journey across the country, the Olympic torch arrived in Rio for the first time to great fanfare. These are the images Olympics organizers want you to see. These images they would prefer you not see. On Wednesday, as the torch passed through the working class Rio suburb of Duque de Caxias, police used rubber bullets to break up protesters that were blocking the path of the torch procession. The protesters were mostly teachers and students and were calling for better wages and working conditions. They feel left out of an Olympics that Brazil spent billions to host. The torch finally made its way through and some people cheered it on, but most didn't. Back at the football stadium, another problem. There are not enough people like this holding tickets. 1.3 million tickets remain unsold as spectator demand has lagged behind previous summer games. Ready or not, Rio, let the games begin. Organizers still hopeful once the opening ceremony gets underway, the sounds of samba coming from this city will drown out any problems. Gabriel Elizondo, Al Jazeera, Rio de Janeiro.